In this video, I want to explain to you guys how these sovereigns work and everything you need to know about using their amazing convenient features. You'll be able to find the sovereign at every single outpost. You can see here, this is what they look like. They have this giant tent. You literally cannot miss it. You can actually tell which island is an outpost just by looking at the tent in the distance. It's a dead giveaway. So the, the sovereigns will only deal with captains and their crew. So I believe captains and their crew members are able to sell. And the sovereigns will basically bit, let you sell everything. You can sell the gold hoarder stuff, order of souls, merchant stuff. But there is one little weird thing that I found that when you buy the commodities from like a merchant alliance, you know, for trading. So you go here, you click this and you buy like a bunch of these and you take it to another outpost that is in like desire of these and is going to pay a higher price for them. Sometimes it doesn't work with the sovereigns. I, I did test this. Now, I don't know if this is conclusive and maybe I'm just really unlucky, but when I sold one crate of raw sugar to the sovereigns, I got 404 gold. I know that each crate has a different value, but when I sold a same crate of raw sugar to the merchant alliance, I got almost 600, so that's 588. Okay, cool, that's just two chests. I, I tried another one, this time with the emissary, 400, and if we sell to the sovereign again, we still get 400. Now I did test this with about nine chests, but every time I sold to the merchant alliance like four or five times, it was always around 600 gold, whereas the sovereigns would only take 400 gold. Now, that is a bit suspicious. Maybe I'm just really unlucky and the four chests that I sold at the merchant alliance were just worth that much. But I feel like the trading commodities don't work the exact way. You don't seem to be getting the, the extra gold that you should be from the sovereign. So you should keep selling those to the merchant alliance. So now I'm going to test a bunch of other treasure and we're going to go to the sovereigns and we're going to test if this works with skulls and, you know, other things and just kind of natural found, um, you know, merchant stuff. So this, when we test here at the Merchant Alliance, we get 1,270. Obviously, the Emissary does work on both the Sovereigns and the Merchant Alliance, which makes it very convenient. And it doesn't affect here. The price is basically the same, and you can sell the Skulls as well. They will give you, you know, 1,100, give or take. You know, this can change between a couple hundreds. And then selling it to the Sovereigns, we get 1,180. So you can see they're all in the same price range as if I sold them directly to the original ones, like the Gold Hoarders here, Captain's Chest for 930. We sell it to the Sovereigns. How much do we get here? This is a, a delayed response, apparently. Give me my money. Give me my money, 899. You can see with all these treasure items that we're selling, we basically get the same price selling them at the Sovereigns, whereas if I sold them at the Order of Souls, Merchant Alliance, or at the Gold Hoarders. But for the trading commodity stuff, we don't get the exact value that we need. So you still should sell everything. If you're a captain or you're on a captain ship, go to the Sovereigns thing at every outpost and sell there because it's just so convenient, makes life so easy. And the only thing that you're gonna get scammed on is probably the trading stuff, if, if that's really just um, how it works or if I'm just really, really unlucky somehow. I hope you guys found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.